All night we've been talking about the unknown, and that's really the definition of our next match because we're talking about a man, Joey Buttafuoco, taking on the former pro wrestler Joni Lauer. Man versus woman, well, what are we to expect here? Well, I'll tell you what. I got to put my money down on Joni Lauer. She's been in the uh, performing in front of live audience. She's been slammed. She's been in there in uh, rumble matches. Boxing, yeah, right? but she's been there before. Oh, well, sure it is. But let's see what happens when he tap she taps him on the chin. I don't know if he's ever been hit on the chin before. So let's see what happens. I bet she's been hit on the chin before. I'm just guessing. <laughs> I, I could be wrong here. Hung said, jump up, get beat down. And look out, Joey, wrestling superstar and premier female athlete. Joni Lauer has got you in her sights. No ass. I hope to God that Joey Buttafuoco is wearing his cuff today. It'll be three rounds chance for Joey Buttafuoco to give some of this. Come on, Joey, you gotta beat him. Joey Lauer. For everything that I've been through in the last 10 years, this is nothing. I'm going with everything that I have. You know, I'm not playing. I'm not playing. She's not playing. She's coming to take my head off. I'm not going to let her do that. Cover up, run away, and go. Well, here he comes, Joey Buttafuoco. He is ready. He is determined. Ray, say what you want about him. And a lot of people have. The guy's got some charisma out there. I don't know if it's charisma, but people are definitely interested in this guy. They just can't help themselves. Look, he's in a tough situation. He's fighting a woman. If he wins, which a lot of people think he should, he beat a woman. But if he loses, which a lot of people think he could, he got beat by a woman. And now we go to Michael Buffer. Coming to the ring, ladies and gentlemen, Joey Buttafuoco. Celebrity. Well, this is a guy that has grabbed it with both hands. He has held on to it. He has so. <laughs> Joni Lauer getting ready to bring it on. She has made Joey Buttafuoco wait out there. Maybe a little gamesmanship early on, Ray. She is a, a professional. She's a sports person. She knows the game. She knows the mind games. And that, you know, Joey Buttafuoco looked like he was hyperventilating when he got the ring. Look at her, she's walking in confident. I don't only hope that could translate when she gets into the ring. And now making her entrance to the arena, Joey Lauer. come out here. I mean, she's used to the ring, but the wrestling ring, not the boxing ring. I agree. I think the same mindset. Go out there and attack. I think she should jump on Joy Buttafuoco early, jump on him, hit him with some... Flailing away, just throwing things, or is he going to be a disciplined fighter? He has had two months of training. How much can that help? And, and it isn't going to help a whole lot, because once you get tapped on the chin, your instincts take over. That's why she's got to be smart there. Her only, I think her only chance to win is if she stays composed, and shoot punches straight up the middle. And now we go to Michael Buffer. When the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Dr. Lou Moret. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from Hollywood, California. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> first, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing black and weighing in at 245 pounds. A man who has generated thousands of headlines, formerly of Long Island, New York. He now calls home Chatsworth, California. A true survivor who is tough as the streets he grew up on. Ladies and gentlemen, he's Joey, the gladiator. But a few... And the strongest lady athletes in the world today, here is 
Tony Lauer. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I give you such an investment. Please listen to my commands. Good friends, await the battle. Good luck to both. Good luck. All right, let's take a look at the tail of the tape and the big number array, the 75-pound differential between the two. How does Joni Lauer make that up? And we are underway. The first round of Joni Lauer against Joey Buttafuoco. What do you expect here, Ray? Well, I expect Joni to move around, try to get familiar with the ring, and then be on the attack. Buttafuoco looks like he's trying to intimidate her, but eventually he may run into something. He's got to watch. Joni dipping her head a little bit, but using that quickness. Oh, he's got her back into the corner already. <laughs> all right, all right, she's moving, all right. And she's running off. But Butterfuco obviously striking first. Big confidence boost for him. Well, yeah, sure it is. How long you can do it, and uh, we'll stand, uh, we'll stand uh, the pressure. and Ron Jason trying to instill some confidence in Joni Lauer. Ray, let's take a look at that first round. About midway through, Joey Buttafuoco started going on the attack. What did Joni do wrong here? Well, she, was, she backed straight up with her chin in the air. But to her credit, she threw punches back. She didn't cover up. She's trying to make... She's, she's a little disoriented right now. He put the pressure on her, pushed her in the corner, using his weight. Let's see what she does different this round. We'll see when we come right back with round two of Joey Buttafuoco and Joni Lauer. And we're back to action with Celebrity Boxing. Round two underway. But if you go, looks like he might be playing some games. And Joni Lauer now going on the attack, which is something she needs to do. She has to stand up, girl. See, now he's trying to grab her. Now, let her grab her. That's oh. it. Let her go. Oh, oh. what is this? What is this? Oh. Lou Barrett. <laughs> now waving both fighters <laughs> to the corners. Joey Buttafuoco was the one who was worried about the wrestling moves, but that was Bushley. Yeah, she grabbed a couple good body shots. He grabbed her right and threw her down. What a chuck. Stay focused. Stay focused. Oh, she goes low. South to the border. Make his cup a necktie. Stay focused. Joni getting some instructions from her corner, but now there is no doubt this is on. She is ready to attack Buttafuoco, who is huffing and puffing at 46 years of age, obviously coming in. Yeah, she's got to go and attack this guy. Oh, go. And work in the body. But, uh, look at, look at. Oh, he gives her a knee. Oh, man. I tell you what. I tell you what. Her corner may get in the ring and do a number on this guy. I need you here. Look at him. When he's done busting you, I need you to pivot. You're coming wide with your shots. I need you tight. You throw the right hand, you caught him. Okay? That's the shot. You walked it down there. All right, we're going to take another look at round two. And Joni going on the attack, landing a good one. Good right hand, right over the top. But then he started, you know, she started throwing a few body shots. He tried to manhandle her and threw her down by the head. Three. I think, you know, Joey's got to be first round, but I certainly think Joey Lord. Oh! Oh, yes! Yes, good right hand! She's all down. That's a throw punch, a throw punch. She's got it. See that hit gear, the hit gear is over. The hit gear covers your sight. It goes over your eyes. It's hard to see with those hit gears. Now, it looks like Joni is throwing the more solid punches of the two. But if you could, might be hitting a few more, throwing a few more, but Well, she hit him with some good right hands, but I tell you what, all he's doing is pushing. He ain't hit him with anything. And I don't think Joey Buttafuoco's winning this crowd over at all. And he's not winning this fight. That's a good right hand by this girl. He's pulling her 
Is Jody still going to be out there? And there is the final bell. Were you impressed more with Joey Lauer or Joey Buttafuoco? He did obviously go on the attack throughout this bout. Well, he tried at the end, but you know, that's how you go about it. He's trying to grab him, trying to manhandle her, throw around. If she was able to throw him around, let's see. Let's see what would be the difference. Ray, let's take a look at the highlights. Joey aggressive in round one. Yeah, here he is. He's trying to manhandle her, push her around the ring. Then round two. I, I don't know what kind of move this was. She was holding her own till this. And then round three. Obviously, Joey trying to go in for the kill, and she actually loses her headgear here. Well, the headgear, I've, I've sparred with these type of headgears, as I said. They go over your eyes, and you can't see. Ray, if you're a judge, how do you see this fight? Well, it depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for cleaner punches, Joni Laura landed cleaner punches. But if you're looking for somebody who controlled the tempo of the fight, well, Joey Buttafuoco did that. He manhandled her. So, it depends on what you're looking for. Well, I, what, do, what do judges look for? Look you, for you know they it. look for both. Cleaner punches who controls the tempo of the fight, and if you're looking for that, then it, then, you, then you're, you have to sway either way. I personally think that she won the fight simply on punches. All he did was run, throw her down. I don't think he did much else. Well, let's see how the judges saw this one. For more, let's head into the middle of the ring with Boxing Hall of Fame ring announcer Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, here at Celebrity Boxing, we go to the scorecards. Marty Denkin scores the belt. 28 28 he has it even larry rosadilla scores the contest 29 27 and raul Kaye scores it 29 28 for the winner by majority decision joey Buttafuoco. Joey Bonifuco, a close fight. I mean, you know, listen, you've been away in a certain big house. You probably had some good fights in there. Was this a tougher fight than some of those were? Anybody in, anybody that did any kind of time either got screwed by their lawyer or wasn't guilty, so. Joni? Joni, how, how do you think you did this fight? Well, first of all, I think I acted more like a lady, or maybe more like a man, instead of Joey throwing me around a couple times. But, if Joey wants to play like that, then we'll put him in my ring, and we'll go by my rules. Maybe we'll have to have celebrity wrestling. What do you think, Joey? No problem. Hey, Ray, Chris, back to you. Michael, thank you. It's been another memorable evening as Darva Conger points Olga Corbett, Dustin Diamond TKO's Ron Palillo. The new bowl reaches out to beat the bridge, and Joey Buttafuoco wins a controversial bout as well. Well, that's going to do it for Celebrity Boxing 2. On behalf of Ray, Boom Boom Mancini, and Michael Buffer, I'm Chris Rose, and have a good night, everybody.